It's been nearly 18 months since the introduction of the second-gen Nexus 7, and in the meantime the iPad has gotten thinner and Android tablets cheaper. It's also been three years since HTC built a tablet at all, so the fact that Google joined up the Taiwanese OEM to create the Nexus 9 speaks to the search giant's confidence in the underdog manufacturer. The Nexus 9 contains a lot of firsts. It's the first device on the market to run Android 5.0 Lollipop. It's the first 9-inch Android tablet, well, 8.9 inches, that gives the iPad a run for its money. And it's the first mainstream 64-bit Nexus device, which brings Android into the 64-bit era. There's a lot of firsts here, but ultimately the Nexus 9 is about substance over style. It looks like a giant Nexus 5, with a rubberized back that's not really that well made. Try pushing it in slightly. And it attracts fingerprints like crazy. The screen's also really sharp, a 2048 by 1536 resolution IPS display. But it's no match for the iPad Air 2. It's not laminated, and the viewing angles aren't great. But it's a really good Nexus tablet screen. Really though, it's the software that's the biggest deal on this tablet. Google's used tablets to debut OS versions before, but Lollipop is much more than just a new number. It's a codification of everything Google's been working on with its OEM partners since Android debuted. New features like lock screen notifications and a new swipe down quick settings panel are immediately gratifying, but it's the smaller things like an improved keyboard and multitasking panel, or the easy ways to pin an open app so kids can't run amok on your phone or tablet that makes Android 5.0 so powerful. Power is another theme on the Nexus 9. It's the first to run NVIDIA's 64-bit Tegra K1, and apps just fly. While there are some that haven't been updated to support Android 5.0's new art runtime, most have received performance improvements merely by running on the more efficient OS. Bugs are a problem in the early build, but there's room to grow here, and we can't wait to see what developers do with the extra speed. The Nexus 9 also has an 8 megapixel camera that HTC promises is one of the best in the tablet space. Unfortunately, it's not great and won't put your smartphone to shame. Same with the 1.6 megapixel front facing camera, but the refreshed Google UI is a breath of fresh air nonetheless. At $429 for the 16 gig model, Google has hit a hit on its hands. It may be a little bit expensive for some and a little bit small or big for others, but I think Google's found a really nice middle ground here. Android still has a long way to go to match iOS in terms of tablet app quality, and there are many apps that developers will just never optimize for the larger display. But the situation is not nearly as dire as it was a year ago, and with material design guidelines, hopefully developers will enjoy the process as much as we have. The Nexus 9 is available now from the Google Play Store and should be coming to retailers later this month in Canada. It may not have everything to everybody, but it's one of the best tablets on the market, and if you're looking for an Android tablet to take on, on the iPad, this is the one to go for.